What is going on everybody? This is Nubs the Gamer and I wanted to welcome you all back to my channel. Now in today's video I wanted to show you something that I recently purchased that I really hope will further the enhancement of my videos. I don't mean enhance such as the audio and video quality but more of the enhance of the type of content that I can now offer on my channel. And I wanted to present to you and show this off. I just recently got this on Amazon and this is the Avermedia component to HDMI converter. Now, as you guys know, I recently told you that I wanted to do some retro videos on some systems such as the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, and even the Microsoft consoles like the Xbox and the 360. But, you know, in order to do that, I really needed something that will capture and stream from all these systems. As you know, I already own an Elgato HD60S capture card, and it really does a fantastic job of recording and streaming my gameplay. Avermedia offers two types of converters. Composite to HDMI and Component to HDMI. Component is the five color cables, the red and white for audio, and the blue, red, and green for video. Composite is the three color cables that we all grew up with using the red, white, and yellow. I only purchased the component to the HDMI converter just for this time being, just for systems like the PlayStation 2, Nintendo GameCube, and the Nintendo Wii. I have read that you can still get composite to work together along with component, but you know, that will be in another video. Both Avermedia converters will run you about $40 each, but both of them have great reviews. Now there are cheaper options, and after buying another component to HDMI converter, I did notice what others have said in the reviews about the signal going in and out. Personally, I didn't like that, and it wasn't really consistent. So I actually decided to just go ahead and spend the extra money and just buy this Avermedia brand. So let's hook everything up and see how well it performs. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, you know, get everything all hooked up. As soon as I can, now they put these stupid twisty ties on there, but whatever. Alrighty, now like I mentioned, it's going to have two, two cables for your audio, your red and your white, and your three cables, your red, blue, and green, for your video. So, I actually have my PlayStation 2, because that is what we're going to, that is what we're going to demo and test out. So let's go ahead and get that hooked up. Alrighty, there we go. Um, now this plug here, this is actually going to power the unit. And it's actually from the tech specs, is a USB 2.0. Now you can hook this up to a PC or a game system as long as it's 2.0 or greater or newer type of USB connection. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and just plug it directly into the back of the TV that I'm using because the TV does have a USB and I believe it is 2.0, um, but it will be enough power to, you know, supply what we need to get the signal going. So let's go ahead and hook everything else up. And as you can see, there's the light. That light will indicate that everything is powered and ready to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the system configuration. And as you can see, yes, the component video has been selected. Let me go right into the browser. For this demonstration, we're just going to be playing Simpsons Hit and Run. We're just going to put it in and check it out. Now, you can probably hear like a buzzing noise. Um, that is definitely coming, I believe, from the audio. And I've also noticed that the buzzing noise was, um, it, it's generally there when like no audio is being played, but when like music or audio is like playing from the game itself, the buzzing goes away. Um, 
That could be just because of the source of the signal. But let's go ahead and start up the game and see how that looks. Now, as you can see up in the corner, it does say it does say four eighty I sixty hertz. So now it seems everything is running really smooth. Seems everything, you know, quality is what you expect from a PlayStation 2 game. Even though it is a converter, but it's basically just converting the signal from component to a HDMI signal. But it still, re it still retains the resolution. It's not going to bump it up to, you know, 1080p. No, because that's not what the game was created in. The game is created in 480i. So this is the maximum resolution that you're going to get. Now you can get converters that will bump it up in resolution, but really, this is perfect. Now, I did notice that the image is a little stretch, if you can tell, like from here, it is stretched over. Um, but, you know what, it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, now, you can probably see up here where the house is, where it kind of like comes down and stuff like that, but it still looks pretty good. Not having any hiccups, not having any signal problems, not having any audio problems, everything is running fantastic. And that's exactly what I wanted to purchase it for. However, uh, I know I'm playing this on, you know, a small, what, 24 inch TV. Um, I have a beautiful 4K 60 inch TV, and I would love to play all this on there. However, my TV does come with component cables, so I can just hook it up to the TV with using component cables. However, this is not the main reason why I wanted to convert. The main reason why I wanted to convert is because of this. This is the Elgato HD60S capture card. Now, this only has a HDMI in and an HDMI out. 
So that'll be good. So that means I can easily plug this in here and feed it back out to the TV. However, the main reason for this is so I can stream on YouTube live to you guys. And I can also capture gameplay because capturing gameplay retains the 100% quality. Like whatever the maximum quality of the game is, that is the maximum quality that you're going to get with the capture. So let's go ahead and hook that up and you know, we'll take a look and see how everything is. Okay guys, so we have everything hooked up. We have the PlayStation 2 over here. It's feeding into the converter. The converter is feeding into the Elgato. As you can see here, it's actually displayed nicely and it's feeding back out to the TV. It's running along pretty good. Now with that being disabled, because we don't really want a distraction, this is only for like a preview. But however, as you can see right here, it's still recording. Now remember, this is for demonstration purposes. Well, it's about time. Now, like I said, this is for demonstration purposes, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the video quality that we just recorded. Let's go ahead and check that out. Shh. Oh, radical.
Well, it's about time. Stop! I am Evil Homer. I am Evil Homer. Look out! Yeah. 